Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today I've got another alternative project for you using the December 2019 paper pumpkin kit called Something for Everything. Now this kit comes with all the supplies you need to make the projects, but I like to kind of turn them into my own and come up with some fun things. And this month I decided to do fun folds. And so this is a really fun card that opens up a little bit differently than a normal card. And so this is um, the third project that I've made using this kit. So if you haven't seen my other videos, go and check those out. They are also made with a fun fold. So the kit includes a stamp set. And so you get this stamp set, and this is a really great one. It gives you so many different sayings. And then it also comes with a ink spot. And this month is terracotta tile. If you would like to make these projects with me, then subscribe to Paper Pumpkin with the link below. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this card first. Okay, so what I have are two sheets of paper, and it was originally a large sheet, and I've cut it in half. And so what I have is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and score this with my scoreboard. We're going to score at one and a quarter. And four and a quarter. Okay, and now flip it and just do it on the other side. One and a quarter and four and a quarter. And then we're going to do the same to the other card. Okay. So now I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer and we're going to trim the card base that comes in the kit. So we've got the yellow crushed curry card base and this card will give us um, enough supplies to make both of the card, alternative cards I'm making today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the yellow into a one and a quarter strip. So we're gonna do that this way. And then we're gonna cut it into three inches. And then we're going to do the same with the crushed curry solid side. One and a quarter. And then that should give us three inches. Okay. So we've cut that. The other thing we're going to need, we're going to need two pieces of grapefruit grove. And it is one and a half by five and a half. We're going to take one of our papers and we're going to fold it. So we're going to fold it and then fold it again and then use a bone folder to just crease those folds nice so they're nice and sharp. And then we're going to use some snail and we're going to adhere our card together. So I'm just going to show you really quickly where these pieces are going. So we've got our grapefruit grove and it's actually on the inside of the card and then our polka dots is on the flap and then the crushed curry goes inside that flap. And before we adhere these, I'm going to stamp on this. So I've got crushed curry and I've got grapefruit grove. And we're going to use the little flower stamp that comes with the kit. So let's start with the grapefruit grove. And we're just going to ink it up and then stamp it randomly in the center area. So don't do the whole thing. We're just looking for in the center. Okay, so that works. I kind of went a little further than the center, but that's okay. And then let's clean our stamp. I've got a chamois. And then we're going to do the same thing with the crushed curry. So just kind of rotate that stamp around, get some random 
images. Let's do a couple up here. There we go. So now we can add these to our card. And you can use snail or liquid adhesive, whatever you have. Sometimes liquid adhesive is nice when you're doing um, a full sheet, kind of like this, because you can move it around a little bit more than a snail, the snail could. Because once you add that, put down that pressure for the snail, then it's sometimes hard to maneuver the paper. Okay, so we've got that strip on. Let's go ahead and add this one. We're just gonna place that in the crease and then maybe stand it up, make sure everything is where it should be. And then the grapefruit grove. So that, all those colors are down. The next thing we're going to add is a strip of shaded spruce. And this strip is one inch by four and a quarter. So it fits the length of the card. And then we've just need some things from the kit. All right, so this card, I added the gold swirl behind the shaded spruce. But I think for this one, I'm going to see what it looks like on top. So let's go ahead and grab our swirl from the kit. Okay, so let's just see. So I'm just gonna lightly put this down in the center and then we're gonna grab our flowers from the kit. Actually, let's do our leaves next. So I'm just gonna place some leaves on the card I just want to make sure they don't go beyond this edge so that they can, um, it will fit in an envelope. Okay, and now we'll grab those flowers and just kind of add those. All right, now before we add the Grapefruit Grove flowers, I'm going to um, add this to my card. So it's kind of tricky. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive right here on the strip. And then make sure everything is kind of lined up. And then I'm gonna press that down and then those stickers down. Okay, and then we're gonna add our embossing buddy to the back here. So this, so what, what I'm doing is I'm adding embossing buddy to the adhesive stickers on the back so that they don't stick to my card. I'm gonna do the same to this other side. And that just removes that stickiness or covers it up really, doesn't really remove it. Okay, and then you can just take a paper towel or a tissue and it will just, all that chalk will just come right off. So let's stamp our greeting. And so we're going to use these cute tags that look a little bit like a ticket on the ends. And we're going to use the terracotta tile ink. And so just choose which greeting you'd like to use. And I'm gonna use, let's see, which one have I not used? So I haven't used It's Your Day. So let's do it in that one. And then pick it up with your block and grab terracotta tile. 
And I'm just going to use it, the large one since I've got that. And then stamp it down. Okay, so we're going to add this with dimensionals. And just center it on that strip. And then the last thing we're going to add would be some of those grapefruit flowers and just kind of stick them in and around. Pop a little flower underneath there and then maybe one over here. Okay, so there's that card. Don't miss out on the fun. Make sure you're subscribed to Paper Pumpkin. Click on the link below by the 10th of the month to get next month's kit. So let's move on to our next card. So this one's really similar. It has the same fold, but we're using um, another stamp set. And so this stamp set that we're going to use is called Beautiful Friendship. And I really love how it coordinates with the flowers from the um, December's Paper Pumpkin Kit. So we're going to stamp these flowers. So let's go ahead and add our um, papers to our card first, and then we'll do our stamping. So just go ahead and fold on those score lines. And then use a bone folder nice to make some nice creases. And then you're going to add your paper. So start with the Grapefruit Grove. And that's going on the inside again. Then we've got the crushed curry from the card base in the kit. And that's going here on the fold. And then the polka dots are on the inside. Oh. So we're going to use a piece of Whisper White cardstock and it is three and a quarter by three and three fourths. And we're going to stamp using the Beautiful Friendship stamp set and crushed curry ink. And we're using the um, larger flower from this stamp set. And it's just going to go, we've got a flower at the top. And then you're gonna rotate and you're going to do another set of flowers. Okay. And then we're going to add some leaves. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to stamp are some leaves. And I've got a set of three and the set of two. And I'm going to stamp the set of two with old olive ink. And I'm going to do that. Oh. Let's get a scrap paper. I'm just going to stamp in a couple different places and rotate it and then do a couple other places. And then I'm using the three I'm going to use in this shaded spruce so that we kind of can get some of those different green colors in there. Maybe I'll add another one over here. There we go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a strip of shaded spruce. And that's just going to get centered. 
and there's just a little bit that comes off the edge. All right, so we're gonna add our last of our flowers. And then some of these cute little um, grapefruit grow flowers, just gonna add those. Let's add one more. Okay. So we've got all that fun stuff and now we just need to add a label for our greeting. And just grab one of those ticket looking labels and our paper piercing mat and then a greeting. So let's see. So I've used all of the greetings except for the Mr. and Mrs. So let's use that one. And put it on my block. And then we're using the terracotta tile again. And stamp it in the middle. And then add this to our card with dimensionals. Oops. Okay, so then this is just centered on that strip. Oh. There we go. Okay, so grab our card base and we're going to add it in the center of our card. So just kind of get an eyeball of where you're gonna to need to add your adhesive. So we need some adhesive right here. And then lay that back down, center it, and then open it up and give it some good pressure. All right, so there's our last card. So if you'd like, the kit does come with these little gems, and so you can add those to your cards wherever you'd like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Visit creativechelsea.com for more information about Paper Pumpkin and to start getting your monthly kit. Have a creative day. Bye.